Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you some of the free, simple, and easy tools that I use to help me create a web page that looks something like this. Let's jump right in. So a lot of what you're seeing here really is just some basic image manipulation and graphic design. And for most of this I have used Google Drawings for my layout tool. Now the images you can find online, I'll link to some of the ones that I like to use. When I get all of my images, sometimes I'll have to clean up some of the cutouts. And I, again, I, I can do that in paint.net or in Krita. But then I bring them into a Google Drawings document like this. And the reason I use Google Drawings is because you can export with a transparent background. And you can see here, I kind of use the whole pasteboard here inside of Google Drawings in one document to kind of set up my graphics. One thing that I like about doing it this way is that I have assets that I can reuse all in the same document that I can just grab and copy and use over again. So this was like the big hero image. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, elements here going on. Some high resolution photos that I've used and some word art, this text here, this is just done with the basic tools included in Google Drawings. And I've just kind of layered these things all together. As you can see, there's lots of different pieces. I can ungroup this and I'll, I'll just start pulling some of this stuff apart so you can see all the different elements here. Got a lot of stuff going on, but this is all being arranged and put together inside Google Drawings. All right, so once I'm happy with something like this, so I'll just group this for a second, move it off my canvas, and let me grab my big hero image. I'm just gonna line it back up on my canvas, and I'm just using a, a completely square canvas. This is 1920 by 1920. And then I can just download this as a PNG. And I make sure that all of my elements, all the different pieces in here, do not expand beyond the border of my canvas. And that way, nothing will get cut off and you'll be able to see some of the background of the web page show through. So once that image is downloaded, I'll bring it back into a image compressor, a PNG image compressor. And there's several of these online. This one's really, really simple and it's easy for me to remember. It's just compresspng.com. And I can just drag and drop file in here and it will automatically upload and start compressing. And this will help it load a lot faster on the web page. You can see it shows me the original file was 3.1 megabytes. Again, these are, this is a big high resolution image, 1920 by 1920, which isn't super huge, but wasn't a, a, a PNG compressor really helps save some loading time. Then you can just download this in my hard drive and you can see the difference here from 3.06 megabytes to less than one megabyte, 892 kilobytes. So I've saved a lot of space and I can preview these just to see any image quality difference. This is lossy compression. I'll sacrifice just a little bit of image quality for a, like a much, much smaller file size to help with loading time. One of the other elements that I have going on is a moving background. So if I go back to our example, you can see I've got some of this lightning in here going on there's some bats flying back and that's just an animated GIF or GIF, an animated GIF image. And I found the one that you see here from jiffy.com. I found a similar one here. I actually think that I like this one better. There's more clouds and a little bit more lightning. So I can just copy this link and then we'll go back to our Google Sites and put this hero image together. So I'm gonna create a new page on this site so that you can see all of the steps that I take to create an actual functioning web page for this hero banner. So I'm gonna just call this YouTube for the example. And this will inherit the header background from my last page that I was on. So you can see the, the animated GIF image already animating in there. And I like just a little bit of that. It's it's a it's kind of subtle. There's just a little bit of movement that's going on and um, I think that that gives some interest to the the top of your web page, helps it grab somebody's attention. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this text box here that it automatically put in there for me and just 
delete the title. Then I'm going to go to the header type and we're going to make this a larger banner. That's fine. But what we want to do is change the image. So I'm going to go to change. I'm going to select image and then we're going to paste in that URL right here. So it's going to be this new clouds and lightning background. And there it is. And what will happen is Google Sites will automatically try to uh, adjust this image for readability. Some of the images that you might want to put behind something, you want to make sure that your text or foreground image is, is clear and readable. And so sometimes that really, really helps. In this case, I'm just going to turn it off. And then I'm going to pull in, and you can just drag and drop right into Google Sites, that uh, compressed PNG image we, we uh, created there for our header. I'm just going to drag and drop it right into the center of our hero section. And I'm going to expand it out both right and left. And you can see it's going to start automatically cropping it, but I can just hit this uncrop button right here to give me that full image again. And you can see it's expanded it all the way up and it has that motion in the background. And I can preview this with this button right here. So now we have some lightning looping in the background. And you can also preview this on multiple devices. So it'll change the aspect ratio for tablet, desktop, and mobile devices. So there's my hero image. For some of these other ones, I'll go back to my Google drawings again here. Like this one, for example, I didn't want it to be quite as tall as my canvas. This is where paint.net or Krita will come in handy. So again, I can just line it up on my canvas, go to file, download as PNG. If I want anything with transparency, I'm going to always use the PNG file format. And once that downloads, we'll open it in paint.net and get rid of that extra transparent space that we have on the top and bottom of this image. Now it's downloading if you're on a Chromebook and you need an image bitmap manipulation program, check out PhotoP. And this is an online image editor that works in your browser. And I'm going to open that image we just downloaded. So you can see we have this checkered pattern back here that indicates transparency. And I'm just going to go up to my image option and use trim. And this is going to get rid of any extra transparent pixels. That's all I need to do. And I can just re-download that as a new PNG file. So I created lay the layout in Google Drawings, and then I'm using an image editing program like PhotoP. I could do this sim a similar thing in paint.net or in Krita, both free applications. But if you don't have the ability to install anything, PhotoP is a great piece of web software that runs in your browser that will allow you to do very simple things like cropping, getting rid of transparent pixels. Um, you could even do some image adjustment in here. There's layers as well. So PhotoP is actually a really great program for this. What I would then do is bring it back into my PNG compressor just to make sure I'm getting the smallest file size without sacrificing too much image quality. And that's what these compressors uh, attempt to do. They, they compress it as much as they can without sacrificing too much image quality. So now I've got this compressed version. I can just drag and drop it into a section here. And I'm, again, I'm going to expand it out and uncrop it. Essentially, that's what I've done through this entire web page to prepare all of my graphics and then drag and drop them into Google Sites. Once you're in Google Sites, you can give these images um, captions. You can give them um, alternate text. You could upload your own images here. It's actually a very, very intuitive, uh, easy to use website editor that with some graphic design skills and practice allow you to create some really beautiful looking websites. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions for free or simple, easy tools to use like this, please leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.